Hi there, and welcome back to Icemandel. I'm Baron. Let's take the elevator down. Go away! Can't Marketh goons pick on somebody else? Blah. Can't Marketh goons pick on someone else? Give old Tarnam a rest! Are you alright? Your breathing sounds very shallow. That's nice. Fain caring. It must give you some sort of crude delight to see someone cheer up right before you shove your stinking boot up in their face. Come on. I'm really concerned. I didn't come here to hurt you. Well, if you're such a kindly soul, why don't you get out of here and bring us some food? My breathing isn't getting any better by choking on rock and dust all the time. While you're at it, why don't you kill all the salamanders on top of the chain elevator? Food? I have some food with me right now. Here you go. And we give them uh, those uh, potatoes we carried along. Well, I'll be damned. I never would have expected anyone to help us. You don't seem half bad to me. Perhaps you could help us some something more with something more? Certainly. Just tell me what you need and I'll see what I can do. And yeah, 80,000 XP is nothing to sneeze at. My people are located a short distance from here in a camp. The Umberhawks are having trouble finding it for now, but they won't for long. If you can make it there, you can seek shelter, of course. We'd appreciate if you could defend us from the Umberhawk. How do I get there? Go to the northeastern corner of the pit. There's a plateau there. If you walk around there for a while, the Hawks will eventually come looking for you. I can feel them burrowing below us even now. Once they get through, you can enter the twisting tunnel maze on the other side. Use the glowing red gems to find your way to the camp. Why don't the Umberhawks use the path if it's so easy to follow? Heh <laughs> heh, well you see, the Umberhawks' eyes can't detect red light very well, especially when they're burrowing. They have strange clear skin on their eyes that can't protect them from debris when they rush around. It's very difficult for them to detect the gem's particular hint, uh, tint of light. Hmm, interesting. Thanks, Tarnam. Okay. All right. So we have to find a settlement of the Deep Gnomes now. And kill more Umberhawks. If they don't confuse anyone, that shouldn't be too difficult, I say. What's that? A rhinoceros beetle. That's a freaking huge beetle. Oh, uh, dang it. That's... I don't like that. What did you drop? Wait a second. Oh yeah, now the um, potatoes are gone. What's that? Rhino, rhino beetle shell. Okay. Do we need that? I don't know. And what? Umber hawks. We kill them, I say. Are you ready for me? The no. Silence See, the, the rhino beetle is trying to get to the mage and the thief. Yeah, now he turns, but it's too late. You're dead already. Time to turn this one down to size. Oh, now ugh, Storm is confused. Go ahead. No, not go ahead. Go away. Simple. Oh, 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 Zaldana. Uh, no, uh, Goldmoon is confused too. <coughs> They're probably gonna attack each other now. <coughs> yeah, you're so clever, girls and boys. <coughs> No, yeah, okay, you're, you're clear. I'll Head out. It. And Seldana's clear too. Here. No, not Seldana, Goldmund. Yeah, but you're pretty hurt now, my friend. <laughs> Dang it. Was that really necessary? Ah, I, I'm not gonna pick it up anymore. I think I have enough samples. Leg? Unconscious deep gnome. Where to go now? I have no idea. Up here? <coughs> okay. Ready and waiting. Maybe you should heal him.
just in case something bad happens. Like the Umbaugs hear us and attack. <coughs> so, yum, yum, yum. maybe this one. That should be sufficient. Orders? Understood. Ready. Oh, and willing. Need me no. now. Go down. I'm listening. Give me a you target. You stay here. Oh, they're already confused. No, fuck. I suppose I'm free to do your dirty work. Um, what's that going to be? What um, do you need? Can you do something? Like... Conjure up a... Um... Okay. I don't know that that was really helpful. Barely injured. I am your man. Hmm? Um, what's that? Freezing sphere. You could conjure up a few monsters. So many jobs. You're gonna so little time. Okay, we're back you in have business. My attention to the butcher's work then. for the crows you want a taste of this the beetles are not bad if they're fighting on my side <laughs> but everybody yes what are you doing Oh great, Goldman is confused again. What? That means you, you, Yo, and you. Get the fuck Understood. out of here. Before she actually hurts you. Thanks. Ready. We return. I'm here. You could heal yourself again, I guess. Here. Lay on hands. Maybe the chain lighting wasn't my best idea. <laughs> Orders. Ah, uh, no, not here. Give the word. Okay, Agreed. so we go in here and see what we find. Beon. Thank you for rescuing Guello from the mines. His return has bolstered our spirits greatly. If we can keep out of harm's way until the Umberhawks have passed, we will have a good chance of recovering. Could you provide me with some healing? Okay. So I guess we Agreed. already solved the quest here by um, freeing that uh, guy in another video. Hi. Malan us dis mali ustan tal danas dal talra ustan za nu. Excuse me, but I don't understand what you're saying. I apologize, honored cast. I will speak. I will speak in your common tongue for our mutual convenience. Convenience. I'm new. Uh, I'm new. Great. Show me your wares. He's a merchant. Um, 
has nice things to sell. What's that? Stuff of Moradin's breath. Okay, can cost resurrect. It's a plus two weapon. The mystery of the dead. It's a armor class plus four. Armor class four. What do our shields give? Four. Three, actually. Might be better. So you buy this one. What do we have? Oh, a potion of agility, all of speed. Oh, spells. Spells always welcome. Okay, I guess we got them all. That's important here too. A cage of exotic birds and a cage of squirrels. That's something for the elves and their garden. And that's pretty much it, I guess. So what kind of spells did we get? Invisible Stalker, Lich Touch, Stone to Flash, Prismic Spray, Monster Summoning 6, Mind Blank, Acid Storm, and Monster Summoning 4. And that... oh, I should put your potions in here, girl. Is that a shield? Does that have any special properties? No, I guess not. That's better, actually. But I'm thinking, um... Ah, uh, the resistance is nice, though. It's the same... Um... Uh, the same armor class, but I guess now your Teko is zero. And here your tackle was too. But then I guess the resistance is nice too. So yeah, I guess I will leave it at that. You don't, that doesn't give us any resistance. Okay, water elements ignore the barrel and combat. But that's not that useful. Good. Okay, here comes the fun part now. What do you want? Ready. Um, yes. we cast the haste. You have my attention. And save. Now we talk to him. I'll again. handle it. Welcome back, honored customer. Nim, isn't it dangerous being an underdog merchant? For many it is, however I have been in this trade for over 400 years. I have seen my way into and out of places that no other dark elf has ever seen. You'd be surprised how powerful a single merchant can be. Really? Where have you been? Ah well, I have seen many things, been many places. The gem mines of Thay aren't quite as frightening as some might lead you to believe. The depths of the moon sea aren't filled with undead. Oh, and the treasury of Dawn's Deep wasn't very secure even when it was inhabited by the dwarves. Uh, wait, what are you getting at? The Darthir and the dwarven artifacts produced by the so-called Time of Cooperation were too valuable to resist. Selling the artifacts to the Goblinite armies was the best business decision I ever made. So he actually sold the Dwarven and Elven made arms uh, to the Dark Horde. Why is that? It had so many angles to play. The stupid goblins went bankrupt just to buy artifacts that they couldn't use properly. The dwarves who were threatening to attack some draw outposts were implicated and the Drathia, I guess that's Drow for High Elf, slit their own throats when they decided to wage war against the goblins and dwarves. Silly elves. You bastard. You're responsible for thousands upon thousands of deaths. You may have gone for hundreds of years without getting caught, but you're not getting away from me. And with that... Yes. We attack him. 
and he goes. Oh, but I guess we still get him. And he's done. 7,000 XP. Uh, I'm ready. Work. Watch this. No. What? You. Understood. Huh. What did you drop? But he doesn't have his inventory anymore. That's why I bought the important items before I actually killed him. But yeah, and at least some vengeance, you know, for what happened to ready. the dwarves and the elves. Okay, we already had that conversation with you, Aguello. Thank you for rescuing me from the mines. Now that Shikata is dead, we are one step closer to saving our people. You have our gratitude. Don't mention Gallo. I'm just glad you saved farewell. And we get 80,000 more XP. Yay. Okay. Not bad. So, down here. What do we get? Can I talk to you? There's a fallen temple to Barona towards the east end of in Lower Dawns. No slaves are allowed in. Some say that the corrupted priests there have turned their followers into giant skeletons and worse. Yep, we already found that. Who are you? Malavon wasn't always a lieutenant of the mad priest. His predecessor was a human wizard in red robes. He's the one who created the aurochs. Melvin tricked him though and transformed him into an umber hawk. Yeah, we already found him. What's in here? I'm on it. These beds look well kept and comfortable. This would probably be a safe place to rest. Okay, but there's nothing in here, so we can leave. Done. That's what's that? A Durgar? Okay, Dark Dwarf. Welcome to Dirty Luce, sir. We have a fine selection available for you today, straight from the stinking bowels of Farron. <laughs> Great, let me see your wares. Umber Hulk Plate. It's Armor Class 2. I don't think we need that, we have better. Spirit Essence, and he has 25 hit points. Elixir of Health. He doesn't have much. Why do they call you a dirty Liu? Hehe, <laughs> it's because of my fondness for the ladies. I have quite a reputation when it comes to my fondness for the ladies, you see. Quite a reputation, hehe. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, dirty Liu, do you know anyone who could do anything with these beetle shells? Yeah, I know some craftsmen who could turn that shell into a huge shield. Tough too. It cost you 10,000 gold though. It'll take three tastes. Three days too. Yeah, okay, sounds good. Terrific. We lost ten thousand. That's uh, pocket change now. Terrific. Your shield uh, will be ready in three days. Come pick it up again. Uh, then. Okay. So, I guess that's pretty much all you can do here. Is there anything here? So now we have tr three days to spend. Um, I will use this time to return to the severed hand and deliver the items that I have, uh, you know, to the garden. So hold on a second while I pause the video. And I'm back. So let's say hi to the keeper Agreed. of the elven garden. Peace be with you. I see you have returned. <coughs> well, I have found seeds that you might be able to use. You have found some seeds. With these I can return some beauty to this place. I had almost given up on ever seeing life here. I thank you. Think nothing of it. Oh, and if you come across any other items that could help restore the Arbor Arboretum, I would be most grateful. Farewell, my friends. And we get 150,000 XP out of that. And now there are plants. And we have more. Perhaps you can give these birds a new home? They will like their new home nicely. Their songs shall serve to brighten the Arboretum. Arboretum. I will never learn that word. I thank you. <coughs> yeah, well. 84,000 more XP? 
And we still have the squirrels, I guess. These squirrels look like they need a bigger place to live in. The garden will serve as a pleasant home for them. Thank you. Go in peace, my friends. The Arboretum has been returned to its former glory, my friends. I feel that my work here is done, that it is time to move on. I thank you. Farewell. Excellent. Uh, wait, wait, who takes now care of all that? Waters it and stuff. Feeds the animals. Great. Add more 84,000 XP and Storm and um, Zeldana leveled, actually. So now Storm is level 13 Paladin. Guess that means you can learn another nice spell. Yes. Wait a second. You could uh, drop on Holy Might. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Yes. And a third level spell. Yeah, well, what do we want? Maybe a protection from fire. And of course, Zeldana will level 2. Now she is a level 14 mage. What does she get? Nothing new here. A level 7 spell. And we also have level 8 and level 9 spells, but we are not experienced enough to use them actually. Monster summoning 5, Mod Cane and Sword, Power Word Stun, Mavalon's Rage, Acid Storm, Prismatic Spray, Finger of Death, Mass Invisibility. I take this one then. Okay, and now I will turn back to the Deep Gnome, so hold on for a moment. And I'm back. Since it took me almost a week uh, to travel to this event hand and back, I guess the shield should be ready now. Welcome to Dirty Luce, sir. We have a fine selection available for you today. Straight from the stinking bowels of Faron. Hehe. <laughs> is my shield ready yet, Dirty Lou? Yeah, here it is, you impatient son of a Aboleth. Farewell, Dirty Lou. And we got a shield. Armor class bonus plus one. That's like nothing. It weighs only 8 instead of 18, but then again, that's nothing. Okay, well, thanks. Uh, that's 10,000 gold coins. I think I got ripped off here. Doesn't matter. We will return uh, to the temple now. And here I'm back in the temple at the spot where we destroyed the idol. And here are the places where we actually need to use those badges. And of course, I'm buffed up like Understood. crazy. Only you, you have my attention. See, whenever you use a badge, um, the spot disappears. Yes. And now we go up here, I guess. I'm on it. Greetings, child of Ilmater. How are you today? Drop the egg, Pokolin. I'm sick of all these char char charades. Charades? Charades? Also in, Germ in German we, we, we would say charade, so I guess charade, charade, I don't know. I say charade. I have been hacking through enemies for days, weeks, just to get out of these damned mountains. I'm not about to let a crazed man and a bloody Ilmatarian high priest rope stand in my way. Oh, I'm sorry, but war and charades are the only two games I know how to play. If they are not to your liking... I'm afraid you'll be ill-equipped to play the game that's about to begin. Ah, charades it is, okay. As interesting as I find your musings on various topics ranging from the nature of justice to the history of the world, I'd really appreciate if you'd quit rambling. Thanks. After centuries of exonomized, laboriously worded speeches and delusions of grandeur, it is a welcome change to hear such succinct threats from an enemy. Thank you for disposing of her, by the way. Her speeches were quite tiresome, and she suffered her defeat so poorly. What are you up to, Pokolin? Why the spine of the world? The only thing really standing in the way of my conquering this territory was Exonomai. When you killed her, you removed the largest obstacle in my campaign. As you probably already know, 
My arrival in this world was a result of conflict with my ancient adversary. I was exiled from my home plane when my vendetta with Exonomai got, as my superior said, out of control. As soon as I arrived in this world, I knew that Exonomai would follow. After all, what's a few thousand years and a billion miles between old friends? I sought out a base of operations from which I could start a military force. In the process of doing so, I heard something calling to me from a distant glacier. It was this, Grenshiniban. It's an artifact so old that it makes me seem young. A crystal shard with magical powers of such magnitude that Kaldahar's hot stone gem looks like a child's toy. Just having it in my possession caused the monstrous creatures of this land to leave their ancient homes and seek me out. Its other powers are too numerous to mention. Despite the fact that the Shard has a somewhat overbearing personality, our plans seem to coincide. As for my lieutenants, they were easy enough to find. All of them were eager to join my cause, except for poor naive Brother Padium. The guise of an Ilmatarian revered brother was perfect for traveling and gathering information in Icewind Dale. The form was easy enough to assume. The information inside of Padium's head allowed me to flesh out the role. Everything was going well, until that annoying Arendelle and your good friend, the late Rothgar, decided to investigate Exonomai's poorly veiled activities in Dragon's Eye. If that idiot had been a little more clandestine in her business, no one would have suspected. To stall Exonomai and seal off Icewind Dale, I used Granshinabon to freeze the passes, but not quickly enough to prevent Rothgar's band from starting their expedition. I had Craig Frostbeard and his giants cause the avalanche that crushed Rothgar, Akalia, and those other fools. After that, I didn't really care what you were doing until you seized the Heartstone gem from Exonomai. That's a mistake, my friend. I thought that Arendelle would be the only person capable of using it. When I killed him, I thought the threat was ended. I certainly didn't expect you to take the gem to Laryl in the severed hand. Very clever. Unfortunately, your actions since that event have been... inconsequential. During your extended bloody trek through Upper Dawns, Worm's Tooth and Lower Dawns, I was building up forces elsewhere, outside of East Haven, to be specific. So you see, the destruction of my forces here simply prevents me from having reserve troops during my conquest of the Dale. It's a good thing you can't see East Haven now. It would probably break you to see how easy it is to crush houses and cause temples to explode. Everything you've done is pointless. Well, let's see how easy it is to break something within you. I am the beginning and the end of this story. I, and only I, will determine how it plays out. Goodbye. Nobody can stand against the party when it's fully buffed. You're about to witness that. <laughs> I'm listening. I guess. Almost that. Yes. Um. Magic missile. Oh, what is Oh wait. Did you already die? Yes. In the heat of the battle. 
the twisted priest of Ilmater stumbled, gripping his chest as if mortally stricken. A faint glow began to emanate from the crystal that hung round his neck. Suddenly, the entire cave was engulfed in an explosion of blinding light. When the light finally died, the party discovered that they were no longer within the dark passages of Dorne's Deep. As they struggled to regain their bearings, they realized that they had been returned to the town of East Haven. But this was not the sleepy fishing village they had left so long ago. An enchantment had fallen over the town, encasing what remained of the shattered homes and buildings in a prison of solid ice. At the center of the destruction, upon the very spot where the Temple of Tempus once stood, rose a massive tower of crystal. Okay, dang it. Tolpon almost died here. I'm ready. Heal him. Ah, but we will explore East Haven in the next Work. video. So, thank you very much for watching, and see you soon. Bye!